Welcome to Essentials of Acute Care. I am Dr. Sunil Garg and today I am going to discuss about permissive hypotension. Permissive hypotension is a very important concept in the management of trauma patients. As we know, the most important step in the treatment of bleeding trauma patients are to identify the source of bleeding and stop it. Till the time we identify the source of bleeding and control it by damage control surgery, we do not allow blood pressure to normalize. We do it by under resuscitating the patient and this strategy is known as permissive hypotension. Permissive hypotension is also known as low volume resuscitation or hypotensive resuscitation and this is a part of damage control resuscitation in the management of trauma patients. In permissive hypotension, systolic blood pressure is allowed or permitted to remain low and aim is to avoid exsanguination by avoiding the disruption of the unstable clot by higher pressure and subsequent bleeding. Here it is important to understand two important concepts. Low blood pressure is not the target. Target is hemorrhage control and low blood pressure is permitted or allowed pending emergency surgical intervention. And second important issue is that though we allow the low blood pressure, but blood pressure should be high enough to maintain the body perfusion. It is believed that overly aggressive crystalloid administration leads to worsened outcomes via clot disruption, dilutional coagulopathy, and hypothermia. So, permissive hypotension maintains a careful balance between organ perfusion and the risk of further bleeding. It is important to understand that permissive hypotension is not a treatment and it is not a substitute for surgery or definitive hemorrhage control procedures. It is a strategy and it currently only applies to trauma patients who are actively exsanguinating in the pre-hospital or emergency department setting while awaiting the resuscitation with the blood product and emergency damage control surgery. The European Consensus Guidelines on Permissive Hypotension, which were published in 2010, recommend a target systolic blood pressure of 80 to 100 until major bleeding has been stopped in the initial phase following trauma without brain injury. Guidelines also state a controlled hypotensive fluid resuscitation should aim to achieve mean arterial pressure of 65 mm of mercury or more. Means in terms of mean arterial pressure, the target range they gave is 65 while systolic blood pressure it is 80 to 100 mm of mercury. As there is significant heterogeneity among trauma patient, the patient selection for the permissive hypertension should be done carefully and permissive hypertension is contraindicated in patient with the traumatic brain injury and patient with the long transport time as these patients are at high risk of organ under perfusion. As there is a dictum that all hypotension in the trauma patients are due to bleeding unless proved otherwise. So before application of permissive hypotension in trauma patient, the non-hemorrhagic causes of hypotension must be ruled out. In current guidelines on permissive hypotension, there are not only blood pressure goals but clinical goals as well. Current guidelines have trended toward recommending small fluid boluses with minimum mean arterial pressure goal cited anywhere between 50 to 65, systolic blood pressure between 70 to 90, or titration to return of radial pulse or cerebration. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you like this video. If you have any feedback, suggestion, or comments, you can write down in the comment section box. Once again, thanks for watching the video.